Hey up everybody, how's it going? It's Friday, it's time for a community update with myself, Tangzars and Pain God. How are we doing? Good. A little too much lunch. <laughs> Gotta keep my coffee nearby me. Yeah, we were, we were talking about a, a really special sandwich shop in Chicago. Uh, which you guys would be very jealous of if you knew how good it was. I've not had it yet, but I've heard um, amazing stories about how, how good this place is, so I can't wait to go. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the mom yesterday, I haven't seen her in a year, and she's like, what are you getting, sweetie? And I tell her, she writes it all down, writes my name down. How do you remember my name after a year? I only came here once a month before that, but... It's great service. Great old world Italian deli. <laughs> <laughs> um, those guys um, that might notice that I might sound a little bit different today um, I might look a little bit different I'm downstairs um, the cats the kittens are, are too they're too distracting they uh, they will climb all over me and uh, I want to I want to focus on you guys today um, so, so that's why I might sound a little different. It's this little peddly microphone I'm using today, not my nice and fancy one from Wargaming. <laughs> you don't sound all that different. I mean, good, good. <laughs> but I only, I only listen to you once a week. It's criminal. The rest of the time we just talk in Jira. We do. We we have like many tickets we talk on. Uh, you were like quick on the guns today, uh, this week. I was, I was like sending in tickets that are like. Like literally minutes later, you were you were already responded. Yeah, well, we're 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 in lockdown for the next version update, so that's uh. Uh -huh. As soon as we go into lockdown, I kind of like live in Jira because I, I, you know, we go into lockdown. You know, every every check-in's got to be approved by me or an engineering lead, and so it's just tickets all day. That's all I do is tickets all day. <laughs> so being in lockdown, that means we're close to the to the, the next update, right? Yeah. Excellent. This is, uh, you know, this is, it's, it's more of an update for the season, but we got bug fixes and some quality of life stuff in there. Um, I don't, I don't really have quality of life fixes for you for next week because we're, as we mentioned, when we get that close to a version and we branch off, the longer we're in that state, it's harder to merge back and forth because the mainline branch is the future, right? And the, the, what we call stable branch is what's going to go out in a couple of weeks, right? So they, they diverge pretty quickly. Thank you for the extra insight. Yeah, it's that's something I'm I'm kind of like getting used to with, with being relatively new to video games. Um, so it's good. I learn I learn these things through you, and we all learn as a community together what it's uh, what it's like. Thank you. Cool. So it's community update stream. Um, we've got. Um, a bunch of stuff to get through for you guys today, and then we'll have some time at the end of the stream for questions. So keep those um, uh, keep those back for now, or else we'll miss them for the time being. Um, you guys might have noticed in the chat that there is a giveaway going with hashtag Halloween. You will only win. I, I see you there, Frostbite and Max Ammo. Um, you've got to you've got to put your console, what console you play, and um your nickname as well your gamer tag <clears throat> so just make sure to put that and you got a chance of winning um should we do one should we give away the inferno and the bill often to two people playing good let's see the 13th is a double digit so i think two is appropriate let's do it happy friday, friday the 13th, 13th everybody <laughs> So yeah, we're doing we're doing some Halloween themed ones now. Um, so we're going to draw two winners at the end of the stream. Um, spread the word. Um, yeah, retweet the tweet that promotes the stream. Um, if people want to get ready with the the Halloween tanks, um, we can pick up a couple of them today. Um, so we're going to give away the Inferno, and I can't pronounce it. The Belofron. So they're the ones we're doing do, today. Do you, do you know why? They consider Friday the Thirteenth unlucky. I don't, I don't, and I love random trivia. So, so it was. The folklore goes, it was twelve Norse gods having dinner, and a thirteenth god crashed the party. Can you guess what the thirteenth Norse god was? Loki. Yes, you are correct. No way. And that is the <laughs> origin of the date being bad luck. 
That's cool. I didn't know that. Um, I love I love Norse culture. Being from the northwest of of the UK as well, we've got quite a lot of uh, Norse background where I'm from. So very cool. All right. We got some news on the mouse line here on the list to, to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so last week's tank reforge um, was the mouse line, um, plus the the Mauschen and the VK100.01 uh, premium tanks. <laughs> um, much like uh, uh, the, the the previous uh, tanks reforged, the mouse went from about a thousand uh, battles a day to four thousand. Uh, as distance traveled increased about 10 percent and average damage went from 1500 to 1950 so that, that gave it a little bit more p- fighting power along with all the yeah. staying power <clears throat> the motion uh went from a thousand battles a day to 4.3 thousand battles a day its biggest upgrade was mobility and its distance traveled in- increased by on average 26 percent per match uh and the, the vk went from 2000 battles a day to 6.5 thousand battles a day uh, and the distance uh, travel increased by six percent. So lots of lots of interest in those tanks. Lots of you trying them out. Um, and uh, I got news news coming shortly about the next tanks record. Can't wait. That's what we're here for today. Stuff. I've just noticed. I'm sorry. The description's wrong. It's not the armadillo preview, guys. We did that on Monday. I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, today is the um, we're here for just the regular community update stream, but we're also going to be looking at the next batch of tanks reforged. All right. So speaking of the armadillo, um, we've got that on our list here. Uh, what's going on with the armadillo? Well, that release, that little annoying pesky sucker, <laughs> released on Tuesday, um, and uh, instantly you saw lots of you know armadillos and and hiss fights going on out there. Um, surprising though for the same number of days after release right now the armadillo there's two times more people own that than the arctic hiss which blew me away because the arctic hiss yeah. is so iconic and cool yeah um, but yeah I, I i hate those little suckers um, <laughs> i i have played the um the armadillo quite a bit this week both on my my personal account and on my mint of Vimto account as well um managed to get some platoon time in and um i think it because it's unique it's 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 quite small it's very nimble it's hard to spot unless you're using the mark one eyeball and um yeah the 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 way that it fires as well you can get quite a lot of rounds down range pretty quickly um uh, but cool. i, I but, go ahead, sorry. No, go ahead and keep going. Yeah, um, definitely got the feedback that there's quite a lot of light tanks around at the moment as well. So those of you in the community, message received, we'll pass it on. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 funnest thing for me, other than destroying them, is watching them be so squirrely trying to get away and just doing cartwheels through the air. They flip, they flip so much. <laughs> On, um, I don't know if you would have seen this, but on on Monday when we did the insider information before I went live, I actually managed to flip my armadillo up on its um, on the on the back of the tracks, and I managed to walk with it somehow. It was it was absolutely hilarious. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Fun with physics. Yep. Uh, we also have our, our massive trade-in event going on right now. Hundreds of tanks, literally, uh, through the twenty-third. And then string theories started Tuesday, running all the way through Monday, um, the the sixteenth. So you know, rack up those wins and get those big big time multipliers. Good stuff, yeah. Um, yeah. Players were looking forward to string theory, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. Got some good questions, Hammer Hammer Boy. Keep that question. I will ask that one. Um, ask it towards the end. Uh, we're just just going to get through some of the stuff that are going on next week first. And speaking of net, next week. Yeah, so next week we have another tank reforged. It's the IS-4 tech tree line. Um, and then uh, the premium tanks, uh, KV, KV-4 by Kreslowski and Verzilla KV-4K. Uh, and they'll be on track to, to IS-4 like, we, 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 like we've always done. The, the changers are the they've been really really popular and 
uh, look for us to continue this program going uh, going forward. Like I think said, said last week, the train's going now, right? Let's and go. uh, you know, lots and lots of balance changes um, that, that that we're we're looking looking to do. I was going to give the numbers out on the IS four line, but it seems there is a couple that are still in debate after after the super test play test yesterday. Um, so I don't want to give any final stats on that right now because a couple things might change once it's done under review. Good stuff. And I'm sure those in the chat it, it, will understand that it's um, because if I get like if I get five millimeters of armor wrong, I get I get slaughtered. The villagers come out with the rakes <laughs> and their torches. So I don't I don't I don't want to guess what the change is going to be because we're still discussing them. Yeah, and it, and it's good that we are discussing them. Um, you know, super testers passing on the feedback, and we'll, you know we're still talking about it now. So happy days. Um, I, I, I won't be here on Monday, um, unfortunately, guys. So I won't be able to preview the IS4 changes for you. But you will find out on Tuesday when they release. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, speaking of balance changes, wink, yes. wink, nod, nod. I have seen. I've seen the discussions. Very impressed. Looking forward to it. I won't say any more. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, then we have uh, a new ERNOP for the HBK 30, which is a tier eight German light tank. It does like 70 kph. But, you know, talk about fast and squirrely there too. Um, so uh, get out and complete those challenges. You can earn that. Uh, we have a new World War II tank, the T42, um, uh, and it's that time of year again. Not some people's favorites. Some people are really into it. Uh, Summer Slam's coming up, and we're doing a Redux promotion with the the the, the WWE stuff from last year. And we have a a, a, a new WWE uh, tank skin for the T42, Randy Macho Man Savage. Um, again, not my pick, but some people are really 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 into them. Uh, there will be a uh, 3D Randy Macho Man. Uh, commander as well and as well as all the 2d uh, wwe commanders all coming back on sale but don't worry no garage no loud noises <laughs> no change to the art of the game or a splash screen or anything this is just a, a, a requirement to fulfill our licensing with the <laughs> some extra content for those people who enjoyed it um yeah yeah <laughs> but you know you, you'll leave in your learn there's nothing in your face if you don't go to the store and don't buy it you don't even see it so uh and, and then said, uh that tuesday that's tuesday yeah tuesday yeah and there'll be a uh, new SummerSlam key cards that people missed out last year on collecting all the different wrestler uh commanders and uh and tanks and stuff so and then back by popular demand next weekend plus one minus one matchmaking i told you it would it would be back on a semi-regular basis, uh, so uh, uh, mark your calendars. Excellent stuff. I know you guys love that. So, so we've got plus one, minus one to look forward to next week, which goes with New Balance tanks as well. So yep. it should be a good week. Um, I'm really, I'd be really interested um, the week after to see the results of um, you know New Balance in and plus one, minus one over the mm -hmm. same period. Very cool. Oh, and okay. then something I've been asked about the the community map. Uh, there there's been changes uh, uh, put into it. Thanks people for everybody for your your feedback. Right after that, uh, Bam fifteen hundred, which is you know is Brendan the game designer. Um, he's going to be hosting a play test in, in the custom games um, uh, uh, mode um, that's going to focus on uh, Alfaya. Alfaya. <laughs> Did I learn this after like two months? How to say it? Nailed it. Um, so uh, that's the formerly Scorpion Pass now been changed. You guys have been able to uh, check it out uh, in custom games. We, now we want to get some some large games. So there'll be you know members of the development team, Brendan, other designers, uh, everybody that can uh, from work that can participate. So please come come in and uh, make sure you have a, head, a headset so you can you know you verbally just get feedback and talk to. You know, Chuji or, or or Bam. You know, real time. 
Um, he's going to run at least four or five matches. When you do that in custom games, you know that many people. It takes forever for the tank selection and to get them off. So uh, it all depends on how fast people select their tanks, how, fa how many games that we can get in. But please come join us and give us uh, your feedback on, on the map. Please do. Um, I believe it'll be on the NA server, but there's there's also a bunch of um, of our community contributors. Um, in particular, I'm aware of Highlanders is going to be hosting a um, the Hellfire Pass um, playtest over on the EU server as well. So if you'd rather play on the EU server, um, keep an eye out for that one as well. Um, I'll try and come along and join, um, but I've got a lot of stuff to type up, uh, but I'll try my best. <laughs> We were talking about the Halloween tanks, and a question came through: um, if we're ever going to make the the Specter available as a normal tank a in, in the regular game. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really considered it. I mean, we'd have to tone it down quite a bit, and I, we couldn't let it keep being mostly invisible. But invisible, yeah. If if there's if there's a demand for that, I don't see why we couldn't couldn't bring it out. Let me know, guys. Um, we're talking about Discord in the chat at the moment, so um, maybe we give a, a cool ghost painted on the side, or 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 a picture of the Halloween Spectre on on the side of the non awakened version, or something cool. It. Our artists can figure out something cool. I don't know why I'm trying. You can see it now. That's very cool. Yeah, guys, um, hit me up on Discord or the forums or on Reddit. Um, let me know what you think, um, and yeah, we can we can see what we can do. Uh, it's Sounds possible, so let's do it. Okay, um, so we got one last point here before we can get into some questions. Um, I hit so I hit it up earlier. No, we already, already did it. Yeah, Good I covered stuff. it. I, so I yeah, got an order today. It's messing Mentos all up. I'm discombobulated. <laughs> um, all right, guys, so we got time for some questions here. Um, uh, we um, Teletubby Ted, which is a great name, asks. Teletubby Ted. Teletubby Ted, ninety-two. Yes. <laughs> There's ninety-two of them out in the world. There must be, or at least, yeah. <laughs> well, he was born in ninety-two. <laughs> That'd be an odd name for someone born in ninety-two. Yeah. He um, said, "Are we bringing it back any Halloween urn ops?" I'm. We are attempting to. Actually, Lady Obscura is is is. Uh, uh, leading the charge on getting monster hunter back um, for those of you who don't know it, it was a, a series of ops that you earned point and the more points you, you you earned you could pick from the different halloween tanks you can pick which one you want if you earned enough points um that the functionality for that is not working right now and we're desperately trying to to uh get it working in time for halloween because that's always been uh a player favorite and our favorite. I, I can remember sitting in a room and designing it with Lady Obscura and and uh, one of her one of her team years ago. Um, so we're, we're 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 doing our best. I've made it a high priority. I even somebody even asked me today, hey, can we move this to the version after? I'm like, that'll make it useless for a year. No. So please get it done. Um, yeah. So we're doing our best, but I can't promise because we're also doing a whole bunch of other things. Fingers crossed, guys. Okay. Um, the Great White asks, are we able to preview any of the balances that are coming after the IS4 line? I know that it's 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 still something that we're kind of discussing at the moment, so I don't know if we're able to or not yet. Um, I, no, I, can't, I can't, I can't, because... We're, we're talking about so many right now, I couldn't even tell you what's next. But two weeks after after the the S4 line comes out, there will be another a, another tanks reforged. Um, but I can't say more about it right now. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, that I think that answers your question there as well, Gizmo. Um, um, Watson sees that uh, the the fourth MOE, I believe, is the um, coming with the next big update. Am I right, Pain God? End, end of September. End of September, yeah. Yeah. Um, Vishar, um, sorry, I haven't got back to you yet. Um, I'd be really interested in swinging by a stream soon. Um, but yeah, I'd be 
be nice to kind of stay in touch a little bit more. Uh, really good question. Um, um, we, I think this might have been the thing that we that we said that we'd do and we forgot. Do you remember last week? There was that thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, re- I think V shot. I, I remember there was the thing that I couldn't remember. And well, I, I couldn't remember. remember. Um, um, so the, the question is, uh, Vishar asks, um, Pengo confirmed that he will bring charts to this week to show us um, they changed RNG in World War II. Um, can we discuss that as promised and update us on any status of um, restoring it, I guess? And, uh, uh, do we have any plans of adjusting any of the RNG at this time? Definitely have plans. Um, I forgot the charts and I completely apologize. Um, Sorry. I, I promise you, this time next week, I will have RNG news for you. Okay. So, so someone I asked me to have Halloween commanders. I, I really like this image, and I want this dude, so I'm trying to get this made for Halloween, because I want him as my, my Halloween commander. Very cool. Is this, Not a uh, promise or anything. But, uh, <laughs> picture. Is that a, uh, would that be a, perhaps a 3D or a 2D commander? A 3D. Cool. That's what I'm hoping. Very cool. I'll have, to, I'll have to buy the artist lunch or something. That much hair is a big, big <laughs> thing to do. I already got the, Are you crazy? <laughs> I bet, yeah. You heard it here first. This is the life of the developer. I ask for something and I get it sometimes. I don't get it other times. I'm going to say it's, it's the same for us, too. <laughs> Some cool out what you got there. <laughs> All right, um, more questions. Um, I did see a question um, not so long ago. I, I can't remember um, who asked it, so I'm sorry about that. But um, it was asking if we're able to um, we're able to talk about anything to do with the next season yet. Oh, so the the next season that starts, you know, roughly August 24th. If you pay attention to when seasons end, when seasons start. Um, but that's my guess. Maybe it's the 31st. You never know. Um, uh, it's a, 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 it's nothing licensed. It's a, a it's a, a very traditional um, uh, uh, season. Um, I, I, I'm hoping that people are going to be like, hey, this is the new Valor, uh, which is one of people's favorite seasons ever. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, and, and kind of gotten a little bit of that feedback from Super Test so far, and they haven't seen everything yet. Um, so. I think we're on the right track, but I think it's one you're all just really, really dig. Um, uh, I think I already told you that we were bringing well, the the T fifty four to World War Two, um, yeah. and it's going to be part of the of, of of the past, so you can earn it. Um, I, I think it's going to be good. I think you're really going to like it. Yeah, that was the the T fifty five A, right? T fifty five A. Yeah. There's so many numbers. There's so many yeah. tanks. <laughs> I didn't have it in my notes, so I was just going off. Cut, yeah. Which I never do. Yeah. So, kind of like how 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 do we get to a season like this? Um, is it something that you know that we just kind of thought of, or like how does player feedback with seasons kind of go into you know how how you guys kind of plan it all out? Um, well, so uh, you know, when we have the licensed ones, we have all these agreements, right? And um, so we, have, we focus all around all around the license, but I don't think I'll ever, you know, as you can notice with GI Joe, we didn't change the garage, right? We didn't like change the whole look of, of the game. We learned people people don't want to see that. The, the content's fine, but you know, the garage should be a tank hanger, and therefore it's a tank hanger, right? Um, but for the non for the non um, licensed ones, yeah, we certainly always listen uh, to player feedback, and that's why this one. We hear all the time they're like, "Bring back Valor, Valor," you know. Um, and uh, so, you know, yeah, listen, go. Like, let's can we do something similar that that you know people are gonna like? It's right after we had what WWE and uh, uh, Hot Wheels last year. You know, I was sat with Lady Obscura and and the team, and and part of it is you, you're looking at the roadmap, what's already planned out to come out, and looking at what tanks are available and what tanks we can, you know, turn into hero tanks and you know, that's when we you know, came up with, like, Winter Warriors, you know, uh, which players really, really liked. Because we went from Hot Wheels to Action Heroes and then to Winter Warriors and returned back to more traditional, you know, uh, themes and, and season. And we got a really, really good response from that. So 
that's what we do. We sit down. Uh, we're always listening to, uh, to feedback from players. We sit down, look at the goals and the, the KPIs, right? Key performance indicators that are given to us by the analysts that say we want you to hit these numbers this this month. Well, how can we do that? What operations are we going to do? What, are we going to do you know string theory? How many earn out? How many earnable tanks do we want to, to put in there? What what's new content's coming out and how can we how can we bring all these different goals into a one cohesive season and what would the name of that be and we throw out names and then um and we, and we sit down with 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 the art directors and concept artists and talk about what kind of imagery we want you know the key image to be uh i think your guys are really going to dig the key um the key art image that will you know, be on the splash screen and the loading screens for the, the next season um i think it's got a really cool feel of action uh almost a call to arms to it um it does yeah it looks nice we always have we we always have good artwork. I have to say that it's we always have some really sick looking artwork. This is one of my favorites, the um, the Abrams, and I love I love the um, Escape from New York one as well. Um, some even some of the uh, I think some of the concept stuff uh, I've got I've kept um, so good. Right. Uh, um, so yeah, Tubby Ted's asking about war stories. No plans at this time. Um, because of all the other things we, we, we have uh, in the works mm -hmm. for the game and, and the quality of life stuff. War Stories, just so you know, is really <laughs> intensive and time consuming to do, working with writers, working with different contract uh, uh, concept art or, uh, artists, getting those animatics made for every single language. Like you, I had no idea how much of work it was when you know we first got into it. Um, and uh, so it, it, it's, it takes a big chunk of the team to do, and right now the team's got other focuses. Yeah, definitely. All right, we've got a we've got a, a little bit more time for some um, some more questions. Um, one big question I've seen today, um, kind of like um, been monitoring this quite a lot, is the um, the Cold War maps in World War Two. Now, I haven't sent you my weekly report yet, but you will have seen this. Um, I'll you know, give you a little before run. Before the stream, the weekly report would be nice to know. So I know what's going on, <laughs> rather than finding out after the stream or during the stream. I'll try. <laughs> so synopsis. Um, so go back. We big player feedback point was there's not enough maps in World War Two. So um, when we had some of the the new Cold War maps um, done, um, they got put into the the map rotation there to help with the rotation. Right now, it's kind of two camps with it. Um, I'll try and explain this to the best of my ability in, in my report, but essentially um, there's a, um, a group of players um, who feel that the Cold War maps are too big for um, World War II, especially if they are in some of the okay. slower super heavies and stuff like that. However, there is also a number of players that also um, quite like having very large maps in World War II. Where exactly the number is on that, where it uh, where it sits right now, not exactly sure. The forums is kind of more towards keeping the Cold War maps in World War II, and uh, places like Discord are more towards uh, removing them. So. Um, Probably the conclusion I'm going to come to um, in my report is um, maybe a compromise. Um, so let's maybe wait until we get those at least three I, more maps. Yeah, I mean we're we're close. Let's let us get the, the we're close. End of September-ish, yeah. more more maps, right? Let's uh, let's get those. Um, there, we we have we have discussed um, just making smaller versions of those maps. Okay. Like just bringing the, the map boundaries in. Um, problem is we looked at that and it cuts off routes that were uh, designed for that map. So you, you, you'd think like, well, of course, I, th I was like, hey, designers, why don't you just bring, you know, the map boundaries in by a third on each side and then it's not too big. And then they showed me, you know, the top down, like, well, that cuts this flank and that cuts this flank. <laughs> that turns this leaving the base into a dead end. I'm up, uh, okay, so that means we'd, we'd still have to do modification, which means it takes the art to redo the train, and then that's got to re redo all the texturing, and 
Um, and right now those they're all doing what we promised you is restoring yeah. the old World War II maps to get them back into the game. So I would have to pull them off that. So that great, wonderful idea uh, died a very, very quick death. Um, because of our other obligation is to get you more new maps, which will let us pull those out um, eventually, or give us time to make smaller versions and leave them in. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, this is a question from Shinji1943, um, who's wondering, um, were Cold War maps designed with True Vision in mind or not? Do you, I don't Absolutely. know if this is... They, yeah. they were honestly they were designed with true vision in mind and the modern more faster tanks yes yeah okay so that makes sense as well um i don't know if you have any any questions on on your end there paying good i think i've just uh, got a couple more so, what is this she 420 bud um asked about moon tanks um so not this year <laughs> but I, 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 uh, I can tell you a story that one of the things when we talked about merging the two code bases and losing all kind of functionality, one of the things is we lost the, the ability just to have an event mode and turn it on. And uh, we really wanted to do Halloween. It's one, the favorite event of the year. Um, and uh, so the team has been working really, really hard to get the event mode ability back <clears throat> so that we can have... Uh, the monster mash, or maybe I, I can't use that term because it might be trademark, but the monster bash, tank bash. Mon uh, Monsters awakened, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we can have that for y'all again this year, and it's 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 been successful. There's still bugs, and we're still fixing them, right? Um, but the good news about that, we're talking we we're talking about Christmas yesterday. Here's real time information that probably most people on the even team don't know. Um, we were talking about uh, Christmas this year, and like, what are we going to do? Should we do toy tank? Should we just Christmas theme all the maps and have Santa fly over in random battles and and, and drop presents? And and you know, Chuji, you, you know that you all know, um, was last night. He's like, well, let me just try it out now that we have you know the Halloween mode working. Let me put the map in the build and set up a, the event files. And I don't know how late he worked on it, and sure enough, it ran. And I'm like, yeah. okay, there's our answer. If, every, if everything else goes well, then we can do Toy Tank. And if, if we can do Halloween, do Toy Tank, Lunar is just the same thing. So it is Todd. So I have well, actually one of our developers who was a longtime player um, uh, before we even ever, ever hired him. He's an engineer. Uh, he's the one that's been fixing map rotation and working on uh, class parity. Uh, in match in matchmaking, clears deeply about the game. Asked me, are we going to have a holiday mode today? And I'm like, it looks like we just decided last night that it looks like we're going to be able to do toy tank. And it's like, oh, then I would love to have the World War One mode back and like for April Fools next year. Could we do Tog mode? And I'm like, hold on, hold on, we're still getting Halloween working. <laughs> but the the news is, yeah. once we have that ability back, we can do that whenever we want. That's great. That's how, yes. how we had. It. That's how we had it built before. And we're we're a, a far a long way to have Halloween, um, Halloween mode, um, and then Christmas mode, and then sky's the limit after that. Great! I've never had I've I've only played the Halloween mode, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, when you when you said World War One mode, I was like, oh, yeah. the Mark One and the flamethrower. I'm like, oh, I forgot all about that. Then you forget, just it got put back in the dusty library at the back of my mind. I love the the early early tanks um, when I was at university, and then when I um, when I got a job in mu museums, I was uh, pretty much the specialist on the First World War over there. So so I love all that early tank development. I love all the weird um, weird tank designs of the 1920s and how people were trying to figure out how the future of tanks were going to be Gadari and Basil Littleheart um, you know all of those folks love it <laughs> I also have how are things going with Merc contracts um, they're moving along uh, I'm hoping the next big release uh, end of September-ish is uh, when they'll return uh, if all else fails it'll be in the one after that 
Um, I have they're not at the point that I've seen them in the game working yet, but the design was complete. The kickoff um, was completed. Implement, uh, the implementation uh, uh, is going on. So fingers crossed we'll have it for you in September. Excellent stuff. I think last question for me here, uh, sent on from Mr. SPG. Thank you. Um, and the person who asked was Flood Card 2905. Um, I don't know if you have any extra context on this. Um, why was Ghost Town removed from tiers 9 to 11? We can get back on that next week if we need to as well. Um, it, I, I can tell you it was either done due to a, a, a series of complaints or a very, very bad imbalance. Um, I don't know which one off the top, top of my head, but we, we wouldn't have removed it from the, those battle tiers arbit arbitrarily. A lot of the times we, it's based on uh, feedback from, from the players or when we're looking at balance, seeing that one spawn is just way overmatching the other spawn and it's going to take geometry changes to, to fix that. It, it, and sometimes it's, map balance is weird. It, it depends pretty heavily on the tiers and the tanks that play in those tiers. So you'll look at lower tiers and be like, yeah. ah, it's balanced fine. Then you get the 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 higher tiers with the super heavy tanks uh and uh, you know the mondo tank destroyers and uh it, cha it just changes the whole balance of the map i do re i do remember seeing it in my feedback reports uh mines and port at higher tiers a few months ago was was definitely um up there with with a player complaint um but yeah i oh, hope that answers that for you guys all right. And it wouldn't be a weekly stream without somebody asking about ranked battles. Yeah, I'm I'm always answering this question forever. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it, it like I said, it, it, it's it's in the queue. Uh, it's just it's behind a whole bunch of other priorities. It's we're not we're we're not ignoring it or anything. It's just we really have the capacity to do so much, uh, you know, at once. But yeah. It it, 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 it's, it's being discussed. There's Jira tickets. I probably comment on them once every couple of days at the very, very least. Um, yeah, I, I've, um, since, since we've been kind of speaking about it the last few weeks, I've just been letting people know it's, it's it, just to set people's expectations that this isn't something in the short term. Um, so you, you'll see this in, in the, in the future, uh, but we don't have an ETA on it exactly. Yeah, much like the the Ventmo stuff, it's just it's not that we can be like, oh, we don't want to turn it on, or it's got some bugs. It's just not. It's got to be rewritten from scratch. Yeah, yeah. In the in the in the, in the current engine. So. Thank you very much. Um, I've just um, had a message from from Brendan, and um, so those of you that would like to join the custom game lobbies, um, so he's going to be getting that lobby started up in about five minutes time, and the first match will be in about fifteen minutes time. And so with with that, um, if, you, if, if you see them fill up some another design will most likely create uh, another room. So just sit on the list and wait for it to refresh. Um, stuff. And I'm sure if, if his room fills up right away, someone else will start another one. Good stuff. And uh, thank you, everybody, for doing that. Um, it's going to it's going to help us um, get some data on the maps, see if they're ready for you guys and then couple of bonuses for you guys if they are ready then we'll see it soon i imagine so um, stay tuned for some information on hellfire pass um i'm going to draw these um the winners of the um, bellofran and inferno um i'll do the inferno first good luck everyone oh i always like it when we have someone new who wins oh rossi he's not following us I'm hurt. Rossi, you've won the Inferno. So congratulations. Why are you, uh, why are you hurt? He's not following us, so he should do that. <laughs> oh. And the Bell Rothman. Which thing? It is, yeah. You can, you can watch us without following. You don't have to. It's up to you. But that would be nice if you did. <laughs> and the winner of the Bell Rothman is... Felipe, three, two, one. Oh my word, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Um, and leave. Um, so up to three days for your um, for your tank to arrive in your garage. Um, so 
with it being quite late today, I wouldn't expect it today. Um, I'd expect it more kind of early next week for you guys. Okay. All right. GG's everyone. Um, I don't have any any questions um, at this time. Um, do you have any I, left I, over there? I got one left. One left. Again, thank you, Lady Obscura, for catching these. Uh, what's happening with Black Ta Black Edition Earn Ops this year? Uh, it, it's a little too soon to be talking about November. I was already blabbing about October. Um, <laughs> there'll, there'll be something there for you, I promise you, and maybe even a bunch of new things. Okay. All right, and with <laughs> everyone's taking the mech out of me for pronouncing Bell Alfron. I can't. I can't do it, bro. I'm. It just. When we first developed it, I just kept calling it the elephant all the time. The elephant. You've won the elephant. Enjoy it. <laughs> um, regarding the XP boosters, um, I'm not too sure that we'd be able to answer that here, but I will. Um, I'll try and see if we can get those added um, into the store for you guys. I'll put it in my report. Okay. All right. With that. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for coming along. Um, I'm going to have a nice long weekend, so we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Um, thank you, Tank Zars, and thank you, Pain God. Yeah, and maybe we will have a couple of days without tornado warnings. It, that was weird, wasn't it? Every single day there was. I I live in uh, four nights in a row. One of those areas, um, three of them went through. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, I've got a quick message from Chuji here. Um, okay, so a uh, quick message from Chuji. Um, is his room um, for the custom games Hellfire Pass Test is up, but his microphone doesn't work, so um, he's not ignoring oh. you. <laughs> All right. Um, that, I think... That'll be demerit on his review this year. Ooh. <laughs> not checking your equipment before playtime. Very disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody um i hope you all have a lovely weekend um i believe we're gonna go and raid um kitty mech it was now it was it was the farmer lucky star pie um so i hope you guys enjoy um our content over there hey up phantom ronin i'll see you guys next week bye everyone have a good weekend all right, take care, bro. Oh, bye bye